Hello everybody, I'm Roadblock. I didn't mean to be on that loading screen. How's everybody doing? Uh, we're on the free-to-play. Gonna do just a regular free-to-play episode here and to kind of quote the new undisputed Universal Champion, what do you want to talk about? But uh, yeah, so um, I touched on this in my thank you for a thousand subscriber video, but uh, obviously you know what you're getting with that video, so you may not have seen it, and I just kind of wanted to talk about that. I'm going to try to do better with my content moving forward, uh, where I go into it with a little bit better idea of what I'm going to talk about and try to cut out some of the ums, uhs, and long pauses and distracted moments that I tend to have. However, I that's still me, that's still who I am, so I'm not going to get all of it. Sometimes I won't be able to get any of it out because that is a lot of work and I don't have a lot of time to, to touch on that stuff. With all that being said, this video is not one of those videos. I don't really know what I want to talk about. I've been on a bit of a roller coaster uh, as far as, I guess, yeah, emotions is a good way to put it. Um, with... A thousand subscribers also came a massive increase in negative comments and negative feedback and all that kind of stuff. And if you watched me from the beginning, you'll know that that back in the day that was a problem for me. Now it's like, go ahead, say what you got to say, man. Sometimes there's good stuff in there that I find and I and I can I can use. But when it comes to this channel and this account in particular. I felt like I should give you guys a bit of just an overall update about where it's at. Now, nothing has changed. I've done one of these updates before, and I feel like nothing has really changed from then to now. That's not so much stagnation as much as it is laziness on my part. That's why I'm making this big push to get Ultra Nightmare Clan boss completed and building out my Godseeker Aniri. The important thing to note, and the reason I haven't done it yet, is I want to do it properly. I don't always have the time. Not an excuse, not a complaint, just, just sharing with my community. Today, I went into work early, as I always, you're not always, but usually do on Tuesdays. Came home early, of course, but instead of having extra time, I went into my daughter's t-ball practice, right? So that that takes up a big chunk of my time. Then you have dinner, then, you know, doing other family time, whatever the case may be. So it all kind of kind of adds up and, 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 and slows things down. But Thursday, which is uh, today is two, Tuesday night at the time of this recording. So Thursday, I will be live streaming right here on YouTube. So you guys can come check that out. Uh, probably going to build my God Seeker on that stream. I would be, I would not be opposed to some account takeovers. Those would definitely be interesting to me. I'm not going to have any stipulations there. I usually have a stipulation that you need to be a member on the channel, but this is my 1000 subscriber celebration. So I'm okay, um, for going that stipulation. So if you are interested in any, in any account takeovers, please join the discord. The link to which is in the description. Let's get started talking about the account and kind of where it's at. First of all, we're in Clan v Clan right now. I feel like I put up a pretty decent number of points thus far. I'm lower on the list here, you know, uh, for, for this particular one at, at 29,510. Um, I did use all my books this morning. I put my rare books into Cold Heart. My legendary books are going towards Armand's, and you'll see that he still he still has one book left. Yakarl would be where my next books go because Yakarl does need to get built out. I have already booked out Godseeker Aniri. I did get Godseeker booked well enough. If I pull, I can't pull her up from the screen. Um, I actually had her booked well enough to where this cooldown was done. And I think I had like maybe like level five here and like level two here. I went ahead and just booked her completely out. And I felt like that was a, a good idea just just to increase. Um, well, I mean, this this cooldown, it's good to have it low. It kind of is. Um, 
when a champion dies and she can revive them, but re refreshing their cooldowns on the revive, that could be really handy, especially if if Taragi gets smoked by a, a stun, right, on accident. Like, I didn't have decreased attack up or something wasn't wasn't up that should have been up, and Taragi gets smoked by a stun. Ah, cool. Revive him, and then all of a sudden, he just throws out a casual ally protection again. You know, just immediately. So that's going to be valuable to have. And likewise, with anybody else getting knocked out, getting all their cooldowns back will be huge. But the, the team that I want to start with, and again, this is not going to be... A sure thing it's going to take some testing and practice but i want to go with rathalos godseeker and neary geomancer venomage and taragi the frog and i think that that combination of five will work the main thing i want to make sure is that whatever speed taragi is at godseeker is at least one speed fast or uh slower than they are. I need Taragi to go first so that Godseeker can follow up Taragi with the buff extension. That's why I'm really looking forward to having Godseeker on the team. Uh, increases the duration of all buffs on all allies by one turn. So when you have a two turn ally protect on a three turn cooldown, extending that buff by one turn means it's going to be up every time right right so um now everyone else's speeds have to be slower relative to that but i think my taragi is built very fast uh not very fast relative to the account we're free to play right we don't have all of the the benefits but 220 speed for for him We've got Rathalos at 188. Yikes, that is slow. Rathalos needs to get faster. Wow, Geomancer at 162 and Venomage at 177. I feel these guys are really slow. How fast is my Sun Wukong? 179. Now, these speeds feel slow, but again, I'm comparing them to my main account. So as long as Godseeker is just a little bit slower than Taragi, we should get the benefit that I'm looking for out of out of Godseeker, which is just to make sure the team's buffs stay up. We keep people alive. I would prefer it. So I may need to speed up Rathalos a little bit because if I can speed up Rathalos even more than he already is, that will help. In the long run, um, if I can get, like, ideally, I'd want Taragi to go, then I'd probably want, like, and I'm talking, have them be, like, one speed apart. And this is just, this is just spitballing in my head here. Taragi go first, followed by Venom Mage, followed by Geomancer, followed by Rathalos, followed by Godseeker. The reason I would do it in that order I want Rathalos to go after Geomancer. I want Godseeker to go after Taragi and Rathalos because they both buff. In Rathalos's case, it's a self buff. So I'd love to extend that, keep that going. Which is important to remember because of the increased speed that for the speed tune, we need to make sure that that's always up or else he would fall out of the tune. So... Yeah, there's a lot of things that are going to go into this. I'm hoping with Venomage, we'll be bringing decreased defense and, and attack. This team will likely suffer against um, Force Affinity because we won't have anybody to land a decreased attack against a Force Affinity. Taragi will be weak affinity to it, so will Venomage. Rathalos doesn't bring it, Geomancer doesn't bring it, and Godseeker doesn't bring it. So our only decrease attack is coming from two Magic Champions. So Force Affinity will be a problem for this team. But still, I do think this is a reasonable four-key Ultra Nightmare, maybe wishful thinking, of course. Very wishful thinking, but a three-key would be ideal. So that's clan boss. That's kind of where we're at. The big question that I want to point out to everybody is why haven't you built this team yet? And I, I touched on it a second ago. 
it just takes time. It's I want to do it right. I can half ass it. I can throw some gear on Godseeker, chuck her in the team, and do the same amount of damage, you know. But I I, I need to rebuild all five champions and try to sync this up as best as possible. That takes time, but also takes brain power. I don't have the mental capacity to do it at this very moment. I'm beat. I'm going to record this video. I might go pull some shards on the main account. I'm still in the bubble about doing that. And then I'm crashing, <laughs> right? So, but Thursday, well, sorry, Friday, I'm off work. Thursday, I'll stream. And then Friday, I have all day to play the game. Let's get caught up on some of the free to play stuff. The other thing that's taking time away is the main account. Man, I'm having fun on the main account. I'm going to have a lot of content to come out on the main account, but Padraig is amazing. I'm doing crazy things with him. My second newt is level booked and mastered, doing crazy things there. So happy I got him. I'm loving the main account. And here I am about to pull some more shards on the main account for this guy. So, um,. It's just a really crazy time, and I'm very excited about uh, the main account, and I'm pushing new content for a change. There was a while where I was, you know how this account is a little stagnant right now? I hit that, I hit that on the main account, and then, and then Archer Queen comes out, Rathalos comes out, uh, all of a sudden, you, know, you, get a, you pull a second newt, all these things start happening. It's like, I want to make this team, I want to make that team, the... The team I made about the, and if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. I, I showed off an all rare team for Phantom Shogun's Grove that is 100% uh, efficient. It's a great team. You don't have to use, you only need to, use, to, to make it work. You only need, need to use two of the rares. The others are completely interchangeable, but I explain why I prefer to use rares in the video. So please go check that one out because I think that's a good one. Let's give you an update now about what's going on here on, on this account. I'm kind of tempted to pull shards. I think this guy is amazing. He's new. And I'm not going to get too distracted here. But I do want to touch on him real quick. because no, 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 I'll touch on him. If I pull shards on the main account, I'll talk about him there. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep focused. I'm trying to do better for you guys, okay? You guys showed up for me with a 1,000 subscribers. I can show up for you and try to make a little better content. So I'm just going to give a real quick update now because I've kind of spent 12 minutes talking already about where we are at. Iron Twins, stage 6 is where I farm. Basically anything that's over a minute I don't farm on because this is not 100%. This, If I was to run this, it's probably... 60% maybe 40% even you know somewhere in that range it's just not reliable enough I do have a plan for a team because I have Geomancer and I do have some good buffers I have a feeling I can complete the team but it will require me to create to take five champions and put them in that fight and dedicate them to that fight that's a challenge for an account that has so few champions to go around I need Ultimate Death Knight still in other content. I need Ursula in other content. And obviously Geomancer, I would prefer to have at set speeds and accuracies and all that stuff. So um, that's a future plan. But just farming a little bit of casual Iron Twins, this is totally fine. I get some resources. I can buy some, some uh, what are they called, Soul Stones. Uh, if I need to, right, I could buy three right now. So I'm happy. I'm happy with where we're at there. The keeps are all maxed out, I believe, on this account. Okay. Well, apparently they're not. But I don't really find myself farming the keeps anymore. I'm really deep on this account. And maybe this is from past farming. But I feel like I'm in the hundreds on everything here. That's plenty. Also, I'm in the, you know, double digits, up, which isn't crazy, but 53 of the superior, I believe, uh, spirit vials or potions. I, that's a lot. So I'm just getting enough from clan boss, I would assume, and from other content. So I haven't really been farming 
the keeps. So I theoretically this magic keep, I have Rathalos. I could probably and I have a buff stealer with uh Sun Wukong. So this boss ain't hard. It's just a matter of getting it done. And I don't care to get it done. I'm not worried about it. Faction Wars is an area of the game that, that I need to start putting focus into. I currently don't. I do my faction keys every day if I have time. Tonight would be one of those nights where maybe I don't have time. The problem that I'm going to face... By the way, this, this would have been so good to have the new legendary. The fusion. The problem... Is just a number of champions. If I would and and my patience, so I would love to book our build and book our mons and throw him in here. We would probably just off of our mons alone. If I can maybe manual to get back past the boss, I'm pretty confident I can get all the way down to stage twenty. And all these ones where I have a two star. I could probably throw in a... Well, yeah, I have your Carl now. So, and Sil. This faction could... I could probably completely finish this faction. That sounds cocky, and it is a little bit. But you're talking Sil for heals and stun, Soul Bond for stun with her A1 in a stun set, because she is in one, High Katoon for the aura... And decreasing the enemy speed, turn meter control, Armand's for turn meter control, Yakarl for freezing, and I'm going to build him for damage too. Uh, you know, that's a great team right there. And that's a team that I feel like can definitely clear all the way down through stage 21. Problem is, I don't have those champions built right now, and I need to build them. So that's, that's probably the next area of improvement after clan boss gets caught up i did not mean to skip over these and go straight to faction wars but here we are the dungeons minotaur we're good we've got that on farm down to 30 seconds that's perfect ice golem stage 20 not 100 percent spider's den stage 20 not 100 percent dragon's lair stage 20 is 100 percent and kind of quick at one minute 24 stage 20 of fire knight is two minutes and 16 seconds with an allure hundred percent. These are kind of outside the realm of possibility at the moment. Not for any particular reason. I'm not saying that, uh, that I would never be able to do them. It's just currently they're not on the agenda. Um, I probably should focus on them earlier than I am, but just for me, not a priority for somebody who's being a little more reserved into the game. Uh, if I wanted to go hardcore hundred percent, I'm going to be the perfect free to play account. Yes. I would make be making sure that I'm pushing every area of the game. I do want to say one thing about dungeons. And I think this is a very important distinction. And this is coming from my chat. I had a member of my clan tell me today that he wanted to farm or that he's farming one of the dungeons. It doesn't matter which one. At stage, the high, he's like, the highest I can go is stage 23 right now. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the phone, dude. If you hit stage 20, you're good. The only reason I feel necessary to, to, to progress past and up to or past stage 25, in my opinion, is... Um, if you wanted to farm gear, but not farm points, me personally, I only do dungeons when there's a dungeon tournament. So I only farm spider when there's a spider tournament or maybe clan V clan when there's no spider tournament. Maybe if it's a dungeon divers and there's no tournament going on, or I finished that tournament, then I go in and farm another dungeon. But even then, I'm looking for points. The, what I'm trying to get to, stage 20 is the best place to farm in this game. Not because you're going to necessarily get better gear. It's the best area of the game to get 
points in an event per energy cost. You'll see, when you go up to stage 21, it's two more energy for not that much of an increase in rewards. So there's, there's a, I don't have them pulled up because again, I didn't come prepared here, but I think a Yumi love has a breakdown, like a kind of a, like a heat meter at the bottom. that tells you kind of the, per, the percentages of drops and everything. Uh, stage 20 will give you the most points per energy when you're doing these tournaments and these uh, dungeon divers. Now, me personally, on my main account, I farm everything on hard difficulty now. That account's more evolved than this one. And that's not necessarily because it's more efficient. That's because I can. <laughs> um, and I want to the chance to get a mythical piece. That's, that's very valuable to me. But if you're not doing hard dungeons, and I don't know the math on it, I don't know if hard is technically better points or not. That's something I need to research. I just don't know it. But for this case, you should be on stage 20. Even if you have stage 25 unlocked, if you're looking for efficiency, you may not be. You may you may say, I don't care about efficiency because this is, that's me. I farmed on stage 25. Um, if you don't care about efficiency, yeah, farm on stage 25, get maybe over the course of a period of time, 10 less runs. That's probably an over exaggeration and uh, maybe get yourself some more legendary or, or higher star epic pieces. Right? Uh, so yeah, nothing wrong necessarily, but if you were trying to be efficient with your energy during a fusion, if you're a free to play, I would recommend farming on stage 20. Uh, and all of these, I as you can see, I stopped at stage 20 because that's really the only time I do them. We already talked about Faction Wars. For Arena, Tag Team Arena is heavily neglected on this account. Uh, on this account, but you can see that I'm very well situated in Bronze, where I'm pretty much 90% uh, win rate. You know, I, won nine out of, I win 9 out of 10. Bizarre, I do come in here, maybe get energy. I always get the Ancient Shard. I don't really need the rare skill tomes anymore. And I'm not worried about charms, avatars, or even these fragments. And I do have the fragments for um, Drekstar. So, but this is an area of the game that I am kind of ignoring. You'll see my defensive teams are exactly that. They're not, or exactly not that. They're not defensive. That's because I actually want to stay in a lower bracket. For regular arena, I'm consistent. This is not a good look, <laughs> but uh, I am consistently in uh, gold three. You'll see all I need to do is get one win, and I'm back up into gold three. This decline to gold two is partly from just the uh, overwhelming kind of nature of things the last several several days but i have my speed team i arbiter is level 45 i have no reason to level her beyond that she does everything i need to do at level 45 i'm very happy with that and as you can see we're beating armand's speeds so here we are coming in big nukes no problem so gold three is really good for where, where i'm at um, I could, I can hit gold four. I probably get to about middle of gold four when things start getting more difficult for the account, but arena then right, right here. I'm demonstrating to you guys the value of a speed team. You know, if you build your, your team, like a speed team like this, you can just come in and click buttons. I bet you I lose here because they have a shoe Zen who's probably faster uh, this is interesting. Now, Ro Ro uh, Rodos is going to be an issue from the concept of my team. And my accuracy is too low. So, yeah, this is a team that I'm going to lose against. No big deal. Definitely, a, you know, I, I even said going into it, hey, I probably lose this. But if I win out from here, I'm still 90% win rate. Huge nukes there. Another followed up by another one. And again, I would love that to be your Carl at the end. Just because of the affinity. 
we don't have to worry about the affinity with your Carl. So, yeah, Arena's going really well. I'm happy with where I'm at in Arena. We talked about Clan Boss. Doom Tower, I'm stuck at the same spot again. I need a cleanser. What I need to do at this point, I keep hoping, right? I keep hoping, okay, well, may maybe I'll get a block debuffs or a full cleanse, like a Pytheon or something, you know, somewhere in that realm. But, but the reality is, is I'm, I'm, I'm holding out hope for, for something that very likely could never come. Well, you know what I should do at this point, given my, because we haven't talked about Hydra yet. I should probably just wait for Mithrala at this point. I could build a Reliquary Tender. There's nothing wrong with building a Reliquary Tender, but uh, I am doing enough damage to get the max chest, which gives me up to four fragments on Mithrala. Now, last week I screwed up and forgot to do my key. You'll see I did my... Well, I just showed you my results of the key. So... I'm happy there. We're not we're not making the same mistake twice, okay? So that should get me closer to Mithrala. We are still a ways away. I'm I'm still 25 fragments away, so uh that would be maybe five, six, possibly seven weeks from now. That is a long time to wait, but she is a full team cleanse with a shield, um, as well as bringing AoE hex. She's amazing. Reliquary Tender is great. I know I should build one. But I could also just wait till Mithrala comes out. And then dedicate resources to one of the best champions in the game, in my opinion. I think she's absolutely amazing and, and very important. And it's great that she's a free champion for everybody, albeit in the late late game. Gonna grab a few more rewards here. I'm excited to get this speed gear. My clan should get this. Uh, I don't see any reason why we wouldn't. So, let's see. We've touched on dungeons, faction wars, arena, clan bosses, doom tower. I need a cleanser to get past this boss. Basically, is is kind of what I'm I'm stuck with right now. So, once I get the cleanser, I have I can kill the boss. That's that's not a problem. It's just cleansing off all those poisons is a bit of a a bit of a challenge at the moment for my team and if i remember correctly you can't block them with the block debuffs so uh, i do need a cleanser and the answer to that would be reliquary tender she would be the easy answer i need a builder and booker of course but that would be the easy answer once i i get her into play that changes things up a bit for me and i should be able to progress further but again those are on the list of things to do, that's that's one of the many. So, all right, guys. There's the update on the account. I haven't done one of those in a while, so I kind of wanted to give you guys a quick fill-in about where we're at, what's taking so long. I suspect tomorrow's video, well, I'll have all day to come up with something. And hopefully I can give you guys some interesting content on here. I really mean maybe, maybe I just talk about the new guy, right? This guy right here who I think is amazing. So that's certainly a possibility. We also oh, you know what? I already know what we're gonna be talking about tomorrow. We're gonna be talking about all the great stuff coming out right now. We've got the next free legendary coming out. We're gonna get a perfect soul from it. Love that. There's the voting coming out, which I think is very important, and we as a community need to be having a serious discussion about this. Because we need to be doing the right things for the for the free to players, <laughs> uh, you know. Like if you're a pay to win guy and there's a fusion coming up and you get to pick there, you're probably building something for arena, right? You're probably building something for top tier, change the meta. Well, that doesn't help me much. I want I want Pythion 2.0. That's what I want. I want new 3. Point, you know 2.0, right? So that's the kind of stuff that I want. So. We'll see how this all shakes out, and uh, we'll probably talk about that in tomorrow's video. But thank you guys for sticking with me through a 1,000 subs. I really mean it. I'm going into it a little bit more here just simply because not all of you watched and probably won't watch the thank you video, so I'm doing it here as well. Thank you guys. It really does mean the world to me. 
I appreciate you sticking with me despite my shortcomings and my uhs and ums and distractedness. I hope this video demonstrates that I can focus for 30 minutes and talk to you guys without being so nutty and and uh, and awing like that. So, <laughs> anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video.